Hey, hey, sorry about that, but uh, most of you are doing a very good job, but there is a select few that um, have difficulty. It's amazing once one person leaves and another one moves, how much different this class can be. You guys can just focus when you are seated in the regular spots. So again, we're trying to identify the area of the trapezoid. Here's our formula for the area of the trapezoid. One area equals one half height times base one plus base two, right? Now, in this case, what we need to, again, be able to do is identify what is our area? What are we looking at? Um, or at least what is our information? So we're trying to find the area. We know it's one half, and we know it's the height. Remember, the height is from the base to the other base, which is going to be 16, times base one plus base two. Now, I heard a question, you know, wh how do we decide which one's base one and which one's base two? It doesn't matter which one we add, which one we put in there first. So just find your two bases, which are going to be your only set of parallel lines, all right? Please make sure, if I said this was 8 and this was 9, these are not your parallel lines, right? So they're not going to be your base 1 and base 2s. Your base 1 and base 2 are your parallel lines of your trapezoid. So therefore, I have 12 plus 22. Notice that base 1 plus base 2 are inside the parentheses. Since they're inside the parentheses, we have to do that first by order of operations. So 22 plus 12 is going to be 34. 1 half times 16 is going to be 8. Multiply those two. 8 times 34. Area equals 272. Oh, I still got it right. Yeah, yeah you garbage. I did an extra step, but I still got it.